Hey everybody, welcome to today's live stream. Today's gonna be kind of a weird one. It's not gonna be normal. I'm doing some testing. Um, I was playing with cameras for, for the last couple weeks uh, and actually ended up just sticking with what I had. Uh, but I did move some, some positions of cameras around and I've also kind of changed my casting area. So I kind of need to do a little bit of testing. Another thing that I want to test out, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, I want to, there are some giveaway things that work that, that are like little chat room giveaway deals where I could run a giveaway. I just don't know if it's actually going to work. So I, and I, I had to do a public stream. Like I, I don't think they'll work on a private stream, I guess. I don't know. They haven't been working so far. So we're going to do some testing, but I also thought uh, I had to move things around and I'll show you my, my, my casting area in a second here, but um, moving things around, I kind of need to re-level uh, my pressure pots. And I thought, why don't we do that as kind of just a quick tip type thing uh, live while like in the middle of me doing some testing. So anyway, I hope everybody had a fabulous holiday season. Uh, we had a little bit of excitement. My dad actually separated his shoulder on Christmas Eve. So uh, in the last three years, I've been in the ER um, twice so, <laughs> with other people. So uh, this year, luckily he's okay. So it wasn't that bad, but um, anyway, uh, kind of a crazy one for us, but at the same time, it was pretty fun. We got to hang out with family. We were being cautious with masks and all that stuff. and. Um, you know, staying distant from each other a little bit, but then I had to help my dad with the, <laughs> the ER thing. Uh, so that kind of went out the window a little bit. But anyway, uh, so many people, thanks for showing up. I was, I, I apologize for the last minute thing. I was gonna, I was trying to do this a little bit like more on schedule, but things have just been nuts for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I just want to say, so <laughs> I appreciate you guys joining the fun. So let me switch camera views real quick and I will show you guys around the, well, first thing before I do anything, I'm going to show you the new casting area views. Um, I've been kind of playing around and I'm actually pretty happy with this, I think. So here we go. Here's one, like the overhead view. I, I finally just have an overhead view of you know like the mixing and stuff and this will let me show you guys things um, speaking of things to show you um, for patrons this friday we're going to be doing a stream and i don't know if you guys saw my post but alumalite sent me a bag of coffee grounds and uh and it had this packing material so we're going to cast some coffee grounds uh on the stream on for the patron live stream and hangout on Friday. So that should be kind of fun. I've actually never tried coffee grounds. Um, and these paper shreds just, I, I was like, you guys sent me the best Christmas present ever. Alumalite knows what I like. <laughs> so anyway, so this will be nice. It's real easy. It's right in front of my face and I can see the screen. You might notice it's a little bit brighter. Uh, I finally figured out how to adjust settings on this camera. <laughs> and get a better shot. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. It'll be kind of nice to just be able to show you guys like an overhead view of what I'm working on, just kind of a, a close-up deal. I can zoom in, It's that's the, the Canon camera, like the, the handy cam. Um, so what I've done is actually switched things around a little bit. I'm gonna use that for, you know, if I'm showing you guys stuff like up close. Uh, and then I've switched my webcam um, as kind of the farther view so you can kind of see the whole thing. So let's switch to that one. And I'm gonna show that, I don't, that's okay. I don't know why it, I don't know why it uh, blocked out your comment, <laughs> Flaming Turner. Uh, so here's the other one. So here's the other view. And you might notice there's a few changes kind of going on. Pressure pot's behind me now. Um, but that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm working. And I think this is gonna be the main view for casting. It just, it, it gives you a picture of everything that I'm doing. And uh, we'll, we'll maybe kind of play around. I also have um, this shot so you can kind of see an overhead and we'll, we'll have to play. It's not like you need to see what's up, you know, where is it at? Like right there, that, that corner, it's just me anyway. So uh, we might kind of play around with that so you can kind of see close up. Uh, but the only issue is this camera has like an autofocus thing that I might forget to turn off. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Um, a couple of little... Uh, things going on. So I'm going to reposition this camera, hopefully. Uh, let me see what I got. I don't have the longer cord hooked up to this camera. I didn't think about it. But I think I'm just going to move the other one because we don't really need that one again, I don't think. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorry, guys. 
<laughs> Hopefully this will work. This is pretty... Yeah, cords just... Oh, this does have a longer... No, it doesn't. I'm okay, guys. I, I promise. I think. All right, so... You got some cord, sort of. Hopefully that'll work. All right, so I'll show you guys what I got set up over here. Let me stop real quick and see. Jacob's here too, nice. A lot of you guys showed up for just a, a, a crazy stream. Sorry, that's, uh, that's not what we're looking at. Let's see if I can get zoomed out far enough here. Focus. Hmm. There it goes. So I'm just kind of holding my webcam here. So over in this corner, um, you might see there's the toolbox that used to be over there. And I've flip-flopped them. And so now, basically, the toolbox is the work table. Uh, I just, it finally dawned on me that would be a lot easier. I was trying to put, um, I wanted to put the toolbox in this position under this table. That's, that used to be the casting table. I switched out the top. Um, but I just decided it was probably smarter just to, well, it didn't really fit under here, under that other table. And I thought, why don't I just stick a tabletop on this toolbox? So that's what we got. And I've kind of rearranged a few things. You can see here, I'm, I'm playing with height. Um, this was just mounted directly to the, the, the top of the, the toolbox there, this, this tabletop. Um, but I think I'm going to put a spacer. I, it, this three quarter inches is a little bit better for the height. Um, and I, I just did a few kind of tests with this set up like this. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking the, the thing, not a whole lot different necessarily. It's just I kind of flip flop those things. Um, if you remember before, the pressure pots used to be here. Um, the, these ones, these pressure pots used to be kind of mounted into the desk. And I really didn't like it because I had to kind of like way reach over the desk and just wasn't really awesome. Um, so flip-flop those. Now these are much easier to get to. Um, had to move my, my micro or not microwave, <laughs> my oven. Um, so it's right there, but it's even closer to, to my work area now. Um, and then everything on this side is still the same. One other added bonus is now I have a space for my five gallon pressure pot right here. So it's going to basically just live there. And in some cases I may want to put it on its side this actually is is a mount let me get the camera on here this is actually a mount um, I have a French cleat on the bottom of that pressure pot and I can mount it sideways the only issue is you, you do have to have some support underneath it but it's ready to go if I ever want to uh, put that big pressure pot on its side to fit something kind of deeper a longer mold so let me uh let me just switch to the intro view. <laughs> Sorry, I know the camera work was really amazing there, but hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. Um, it wasn't a big you know, transition changeover this time, but I, I just really was not happy with things the way they were. And so it's really nice having the toolbox with all the mica powders literally right in front of me. Um, one other thing that was an issue before, and I know it's kind of hard not having like, not being able to really show you an example of what it looked like before. Let me this thing up here. The other problem that I was running into was I found myself working in that corner. Um, so so this, this toolbox, this toolbox right here was over here and it has a, a like a work surface and I had my notebook here and then I had my resin in the corner and the problem was I found myself like literally standing diagonal I don't know if I can get myself. I was like working at, a, at an angle half the time. Um, and now I can just basically stand right here and I'm, and I'm facing <laughs> forward, which, you know, is the better way to do it type thing. So anyway, I just wanted to share that kind of some little updates with you on what's going on with the shop. And hopefully, um, like I said, hopefully I see, uh, who, who said that? Nancy said the overhead looks good. Yeah. I, I just, I, you guys, a lot of you, if you're, you've been you know, watching, I'm constantly like, I don't really like this. And, and that Canon camera, I just wasn't happy with the picture. Um, but what I found was I tried uh, one of the, the Sony mirrorless cameras and it was a slightly better picture, but it would have been like a thousand dollars and it was like slightly better, <laughs> you know, like not that much better. Um, a little bit sharper, a little bit better colors, but the other issue with that was the camera would have cost a thousand dollars, but my computer 
would have had to be like overhauled again. Uh, and so it just, I was like, okay, never mind. This is, <laughs> it's just not going to work. So anyway, um, that, uh, so behind me, yeah, right here. So behind me, this is a, it's a freezer, but I, what I, I have it set, I have a, a temperature controller unit and what it's set for is 55 degrees, um, just to keep resins, like especially cactus juice, um, cool in the summer. Um, I also use it to chill my alumilite white. That is That resin has a two minute working time, and so the more that I can keep it chilled, like even at 68, if I left it out, um, I would have a little bit less time to work with that than um, 55. So I just keep things cold. I also keep CA glue in there. So it's, it's basically kind of more just like a refrigerator type thing, a, a, like a high temp refrigerator, just to keep things cooler um, than, than what it is in the room. So let's see, you guys like the webcam view? Nice, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I like those. So it, not, not much is gonna change on the turning views. Um, you know, like it's all the same equipment basically. I've just kind of, for the casting area, that's more important to me personally. Uh, and I never really had a problem with the views on the lathe. Um, I, you know, you just move the camera around and it looked all right. So um, let's move into um, the, the kind of meat and potatoes real quick. I also, so I, before, I, before we start the, uh, me, me talking about the, the leveling pressure pots thing, um, what I want to do is I'm trying to do a giveaway. So basically I have, I have one thing in mind for this giveaway right now, but if I can get this to work, I want to run some more giveaways on the live stream. It'll be kind of fun to be able to do that. Um, and I'm hoping the thing is this is supposed to hopefully work within the chat. Like it's basically run through the chat window. So it'll, you know, people that are watching the replays won't be able to get in on it, but, um, but the live stream people, you guys will be able to, to use it if I can get this thing to work. So let me, I'm going to start it and just see if this works. So let me, here we go. Start giveaway. Hopefully it will say something. Uh, it didn't work. I don't think. What the heck? It should have told, it should have, uh, oh, there it is. It worked. Okay. How exciting. There was just a delay. All right. So the way this is going to work, and this is, I need you guys' help to, to test this because I can't do it all. Um, so it said uh, a nothing raffle. I just, I'm not actually giving anything away right now. Um, we're just doing a test. So I just called it nothing. Um, but it says a raffle has started for viewers. Um, use exclamation raffle to enter the raffle. So anybody that wants to help me test this, there's, there's not a real raffle or giveaway going on right now, but um, if you guys want to help out, type into the, your chat window, exclamation raffle, and then hopefully that will get people entered. I need to see if this works. <laughs> Jim's already ready. <laughs> Jim's like, all right, <laughs> raffle. Nice. Okay, cool. So while you guys are doing that, uh, the, the way this giveaway stuff works, I'm, I, I, have, I used to do these on Twitch, but it was like way easier. There was a, uh, a thing called MooBot that made things easy. Um, and it is, this is actually pretty easy as long as this works. But the, the thing now is I have to make sure that I can close the giveaway and then choose a winner and it does what it's supposed to. So far, so good though. We're looking good. Um, and so the way this is working, I just have it set up where everybody gets like one raffle or one, one entry. Um, in fact, um, Dominic, if you could do it again, type, type it again and just see what happens. I don't know if it's going to say you can't do it or, or not, but everyone, the way that I hopefully set this up, everybody that enters should get one thing. And again, this is just a test right now. So <laughs> I, 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 it's kind of tough. I don't know why we can't, I don't know why they don't let you do it on private streams. Um, so uh, let's see here while you guys are doing that. So we're going to let you guys, you know, whoever hasn't entered raffle. Um, and again, thank you for your help. Um, you guys keep doing that. And then after I'm done with the, the showing you guys how I level pressure pots, there's not a lot to it, but, um, when I'm done with that, then we'll finish out the giveaway and see if it actually worked. Thanks, Dominic. I appreciate it. The good old MooBot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is pretty nice. I used to love the MooBot. Okay. So, uh, let me see here. I got to set up a camera, I suppose. That would probably be helpful. Let's see here. What do we got going on? I didn't really think about having a camera ready for this pressure pot stuff. So 
Let me bring a camera over here. This one ought to work, I think. I'm gonna drop this down. Hopefully that'll be reasonable for a view. Let's see. Let's see what we're let's see what we're working with here. All right. Uh, Woody's make sure that it's exclamation raffle. Um, no, no space between the exclamation mark. So, so you want to pressure pot? No, sorry. We're just doing testing. I know. I, I'm, I'm a tease. I'm a tease. Uh, let's see here. So what am I doing? Canon. Okay. So there's a pressure pot. Now my, let me, let me see if I can get some more cable here. Let me scoot. I'm actually going to bring it over here. So my, my pressure pots are all on wheels. Um, and when I was moving things around, I moved this. And as, as much as I really love my construction, it's, it's just not dead level if you move it around. The casters can all move and, you know, so I like to re-level things if I move these, these desks. Um, and the reason you want to level your pressure pot is like, you know, I make a lot of pen blanks. If you put this in here and it's sitting cockeyed, then your blanks are going to be really thick on one end and not so thick on the other. So you want to have a level pressure pot. Now there is a kind of an easy way to do this. I don't, I don't like this method, uh, especially if you're going to move your pressure pot, then it completely makes it useless. But one thing you can do is actually literally pour resin in the bottom of your pressure pot. Let me scoot back and I need a camera man for this. Um, so I, I've actually seen people literally just dump resin in and it will level out. But the problem is if you move your pressure pot, let's say that, you know, it was cockeyed and then you put it on a level surface, that's not going to work anymore. Right? So what I do, let's see if I can get a, let me get behind the camera here real quick. I like to mount my prots, prots, pots, my pressure pots. Oh, there we go. Get it right in the middle there. And what I do is I shim up underneath these things. And I was gonna, I actually was gonna get this ready beforehand. Luckily they're right here. And what I use, um, our favorite store, Harbor Freight, um, you can get these body shims and they have these little shims that go from like a 64th of an inch. Am I on camera? Let me zoom out so I can actually get on camera here. 64th of an inch. I mean, it's like a, a little thin piece of paper type thing. Um, all the way up to, let's see, I think an eighth, an eighth inch. So that's pretty, pretty thick right there. Um, so it gives you a lot of uh, choices to kind of shore things up here and get your pe pressure pot leveled out. Now, what I also use is, let me get this. I'm okay. I use the torpedo level and I just put it down in the pot. Let's get our camera and bring you guys in. Sorry. This is a pretty clunky stream, I know. <clears throat> All right, so I just put it in there and I just, you know, most pressure pots are going to be somewhat dished, um, which you, you can put it like a, a saucer or something like that um, in the bottom if you want. CA Technologies pressure pots are pretty flat. I mean, there's barely any dip to it, but a lot of you guys that are using like the Harbor Freight and, and other ones, they have a really concave kind of thing, con convex, whatever, a dish in the bottom. So it might help to put something flat in there. And then, you know, you can do this either way, whichever way you do it. Um, I'm, like I said, I don't, I don't really use those discs personally. I try to kind of keep it like right in the middle. And so let's see if you guys can see this. Let's see if I can get a shot of the, the bubble. It's pretty close, but it's not dead on. I don't know how good that's, is that crisp? Yeah, you can kind of see that. All right, so it's kind of leaning to this side, which means I need to, I always forget, I gotta pick up this side a little bit, right? The pot's a little bit low on this side. All right. And then if we go this way, it's actually pretty good. Um, front to back a little bit, the bubbles up kind of on this side of it, which means again, you got to kind of lift up the back over here. So what I'm going to do is 
zoom out first of all. I'm just going to kind of put this camera off in the distance and I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So again, looking at that level, the readings are I need to lift up this side of it a little bit and so th basically this side needs to come up and this side needs to come up. So what I'm going to do is shim up this, um, this spot. It doesn't even have any shims right now, which tells me that it probably definitely needs it. So let me stop and check out the, <clears throat> let me stop and check. You got the same timers? Yeah, these timers, I, I use a couple of them. These ones I use for a short time. They only go to like an hour, I think. And then these ones, you can go many hours. Um, so those are the two that I really like. They're on Amazon, super cheap. It's pretty awesome. And all I do now, these little legs on the CA Technologies pots, they are not as low, like, like the pot itself is actually lower than this bracket. So I have these little pieces of wood under there to get so that, that it's setting, so that the pot itself is not sitting down on the, the thing. Um, <clears throat> so the legs are, are what's supporting it, if that made sense. All right, so I'm going to try the 16th inch, I think, and just see what ends up happening. I might have to kind of loosen all these guys up, actually. I haven't done this for a while. And I'm not going to go through and do this on every single one of my pots today. I just wanted to show you one of them while I had you on the stream. All right, so I've put that down and that fixed the side to side. I'll show you guys the, the level in a second here. But you don't want to rely on, on what the reading is until you actually um, cinch these guys down again, all right? So I'm gonna cinch it down and then I'll, I'll show you guys See, see how that moved? That moved a lot. So I got a problem here. I got a, I got a big problem back there. I need another shim. Probably a pretty big one too. Uh, eighth inch is too much, so we'll put, we'll put a sixteenth in the back here as well. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the t the pot tilted significantly when I cinched it down. Not bad. Okay. All right, so now I got to bring you guys back in. Wish I had, I should set up that other camera. All right, so I'm pretty good this way. Pretty much right in the middle, but this way still not really that good. Um, it's still it's still up on this end. So again, what I need to do is I need to lift this end of the, the pressure pot. So zoom out again. I'm going to set up the other the little webcam from the other angle so that I can use the, the Sony for up close stuff. And I can use the webcam. Actually, you know what I could probably do? Yeah, I'll just do it like this. I'm going to try the work area. Here we go. All right, it's kind of not the greatest angle, but at least I can just kind of switch between these two. All right, so what I need to do now is like I said, this way it's, it's perfect, but this side needs to come up a little bit. So I'm going to put, let's see here. I'm going to loosen these guys up a little bit. This can be kind of a pain in the butt. Honestly, sometimes leveling things is, is something that you, you have to have patience <laughs> while you're doing it. All right. So I have a 16th on that side. And I have a 16th on this side. So why don't we add a 32nd as well? So I'm going to add a 32nd to these 16ths on each, each one of these guys on this side. And hopefully that will bring us pretty close. 
Ooh, that worked pretty well, I think. So let's tighten this guy down. Might change after I tighten it. Ooh, not too bad. Let's see. Ah, I think I got it, guys. And this is basically the same way that you would level, you know, anything. I mean, this isn't like, <laughs> you know, the most amazing information necessarily. I understand that, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. So now we're dead on in the center that way. And we're good that way. I, I did it. Oh, I didn't show you. I didn't switch the camera. There we go. Good that way. And we're good that way. I got to give myself a hand. That was probably the quickest I've ever done that. Leveling a pot can be, I know. I was kind of lucky because I started out already, like it had already been leveled somewhat. It just, you know, one of those casters might be in a different direction and it might've just barely tilted that table. So not a whole lot to do on this one um, because I'd already done it before. Um, so don't, you know, don't get frustrated. Um, I <laughs> turn on some music, um, and just kind of, you know, small adjustments. I find, uh, where you run into problems leveling things is when you make big adjustments all over the place and don't do it kind of, um, systematically in a sense, like have a plan and, and make minor adjustments here and there, and it, you'll get level, um, much faster than trying to make giant, you know, adjustments. Yeah, but the problem is, Jim, you can't put the, the, the shim under the level because the level isn't what you're shimming, right? Um, in this case, um, you're only, I, I, would, I would make a much bigger adjustment with a 16th inch shim if I just stuck it under the level. Um, I'm dealing with a, a, a wider pot, so that's not really the best way to do it, I don't think. Um, in some cases that is true, but I don't think in this case, um, because you're, you're dealing with a much shorter level. Um, and I can't even like this thing, you know, it's, you, you couldn't even put the shims out at the ends of this thing because they're not, you know, the level part is this metal thing. So you just, just kind of think about that. Um, if, if possible, in most cases, if you can kind of shim the actual thing, make an adjustment, set everything up, and then walk away. Um, I think that's probably gonna be the easier, easier route and quickest way to get um, to the end, basically. All right, so we, we did that. Hopefully, let me stop real quick and see if anybody's got any questions. Uh, yeah, rushing, <laughs> rushing things no matter what you do, um, I, that is very, very good advice. And, and one, and, and advice that I need to take um, to heart, you know, I need to, I need to follow that advice uh, quite often, and I don't because I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know why sometimes I rush things, you know, um, but that definitely is usually the case of that. That's when you run into um, massive problems, rushing things. All right. So I just got those cameras out of the way. So I'm going to, I think most of the pots, most of the other ones might be okay with the level. Um, now, if they're I just want to kind of mention there's there's a couple things depending on what types of, of castings you make it may or may not be that important to get it like dead level you know um, for me a lot of times I'm doing these things and, and if it's sitting pretty cockeyed I mean you can you can have a pretty significant um, you know difference from one side to the other and in my case it needs to be you know, pretty even because I have pretty tight tolerances when I'm cutting. Like I, I have specific things that I'm doing. A lot of times it may not be that big of a deal for what you're doing. Um, if you're just casting um, PVC pipes, you know, three quarter inch PVC pipes, like they're going to be sitting cockeyed anyway. So it doesn't really make it that, that much sense to, to spend a lot of time setting up a pressure pot if all you do is tube, um, you know, castings. Um, but, you know, if you are going to be doing lots of different things, I do think it's a good idea to get them as level as possible. I definitely think that coming up with some sort of mounting system is really the way to go if you can do it. If you're going to be casting all the time, 
um, it makes it makes things so much easier when you when the pot is just mounted there. Um, you know, tightening your screws is so much easier because the thing isn't trying to wiggle on you. Um, you know, leveling things, all that kind of stuff. You know that it's ready to go. <laughs> you know, if you just set it up, mount it, level it, then you, you should, you know, unless something changes, it's going to be good to go whenever you want to use it. So I kind of recommend doing that. It just, it, I definitely personally like having things mounted and, and leveled out. Uh, let's see here. All right. So <laughs> Brad, I saw your comment, Brad, about winning a pressure pot. All right, so I don't think we have any other questions. Uh, hey, Mark, how's it going? All right, so let's uh, let's close down the the that the, it's a it, again it's a test giveaway. Um, let's see if we can get this thing to work. If it does work, um, the reason that I'm uh, that I really wanted to get this thing going, I had one specific thing in mind. The person who won the fifty thousand subscriber um, blank giveaway never contacted me. And so I hope that Tony's okay, but we got to move on. So <laughs> he didn't claim him. It's been months. So um, I, I'm hoping that I, I, what I wanted to do was do a live stream one instead for that same box of blanks. So let's see here. We got, let's see, it's not telling me. Uh, yep, it's not doing anything. I went over to my, hmm, there are no entries according to the cloud bot. Okay, so let's try something else. I should have looked at that earlier. Um, if I can get you guys to do it again, type in exclamation raffle, and then put space one, the number one. What I may have to do, uh, and this is what I kind of feared, a lot of these chat giveaway bot things, like as far as I can tell, all of them seem to be, they they like run and this is honestly it's very complicated and I and I don't even really want to explain it to you guys but there's like these like loyalty points that you can set up and it, I might have to do that on my streams for the giveaways to work because that's supposedly how you buy um, the the <laughs> buy the entries I guess <sighs> it's exhausting I, I but I appreciate you guys' help. Hmm. Still not seeing anything. No tickets. Dang it. I'm going to wait a little bit. It might have a little bit of a lag. Let me... Because what that... The, the reason I had you guys change it to that the, with the one is that it might be... Um, it might... You might have to tell it how many tickets you want to purchase for this thing. Uh, I... Why can't they just make it an easy giveaway? Like, I just want to, you know, type in raffle and you're entered. That's how Moobot was. You didn't have to do any of this other stuff. But, but the Moobot only works on Twitch. Of course. All right, so, uh-oh. Something's going wrong here. Oh, man. Make it rain on you. <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, I'm not going to make anything happen if this stupid cloud bot, cloud bot doesn't work. Now I can't even get into the giveaways tab. Oh, what is going on? Dang it. There we go. I'm back in. Still no tickets. Man, all right. So, ugh. Well, let's just see if the rest of these things work. Uh, you guys can stop um, doing the raffle one. It doesn't seem to be working. So the giveaway is closed. Okay, at least at least the Streamlabs chatbot thing is is interacting. That's that's a good sign. That just means that I need to set up this loyalty thing, uh, which is ridiculous. There's no users. Let me. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Ah, wait a minute. Hold on, we might have one more test if you guys are not totally pissed off at me yet doing all these testing things. I apologize for, for having to like do this live. This is like the type of thing that I would 
typically just do on my own, but it didn't seem like it would work. Um, I don't think that their, their chat bot thing works on YouTube if it's private. So it has to be public and, and there's no way to, there's just no way to do it very, very well. So let's see here. Let, let me try something really quick, guys. It says I can add points to all viewers. So I've set up the thing. I've given you guys, supposedly I've given you all one point. So let's cancel the giveaway. Let me go back in here. Did it say anything? Giveaway closed. The giveaway has been canceled. <laughs> You've been asked to do worse before. Oh man. Art's in the house. What's up? We're we're doing testing, so it's kind of a uh, this is this is just a it's a hot mess right now in my shop. I just want to let you guys know, anybody that's joining the stream right now, what we're trying to do is get um, a giveaway to work. I'm doing testing on it. I don't, I'm not doing a giveaway today, um, but I have one coming up, and I needed to make sure that this thing worked before I did the giveaway, right? So let's see what we got here. Why do they make this stuff so hard? Uh, where did the loyalty go? Does everybody have it? No users. Hmm. hmm. This is not a good time to try and figure out the loyalty system. So I think... Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Still says there's no no users in the list on the loyalty thing, guys. Signups. No, it's not signups. What the, the way the loyalty thing works is basically for, you know, like if you're a subscriber um, or I think super chats, like there's all these different things. And just, just for like how long you're watching my stream, um, trust me, I really didn't want to have to set this thing up because it's, it just kind of gets ridiculous. But um, cause I just wanted to do simple giveaways with this, but the only, the only ones that I found that work on YouTube's chat, I want it to work through the chat so you don't have to leave and go enter somewhere else. Um, require you to do it with <laughs> these loyalty systems. <sighs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to set up the loyalty system correctly. What makes me kind of annoyed is what, what I'm worried about is that there's a ton of you guys, you, most of you are probably subscribers, but I don't know if you get points for already being a subscriber. You know, like it's, it's not like it's retroactively going to do it, I don't think. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Right? <laughs> Your name's, yeah, I'm not going to do that. For a few reasons. Honestly, I, I like doing the, the giveaways with some sort of a, a, you know, system because that way it's not like I'm like, oh yeah, I picked the one that has like, you know, there's no way that I can cheat at that point. It, it's just, just doing, you're all clean people. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so... Well, see, Nancy, the problem is it's saying that there's no users in the list of, like, loyalty, whatever. I'm, i i got to be honest. This is a bad idea to, to try and set up the loyalty system because I don't even know how it works, really. We can, tr we can try one more, one more time. Um, the way that this thing kind of works is you also get, like, the way it's supposedly set up, according to the settings that I'm looking at in my little uh, thing here, for every five minutes, everybody gets one point or whatever. And so, oh, yeah, so I, I need to understand how this works. We can, let's do it one more time. Let's, let's open up one more giveaway and just see if for some reason, because it's probably been five minutes now, I would imagine, I think. Hmm. 
it just doesn't say that there's anybody in here. Let me let me re, re, refresh the page. Sometimes you got to refresh the page, you know. No, that didn't work either. All right, so let's try one more giveaway. Uh, I'm going to start it again. All right, so I'm going to come back here and see. <laughs> just put your name. <laughs> Is it server based? I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's. I guess I don't exactly know what that means. It's not run through YouTube. All right, so the raffle's open again. Yeah, try just put raffle one, raffle space one. So exclamation raffle space one. It's probably because you can only get one anyway. The way that I set up the giveaway, I'm not seeing any entries coming in yet but who knows we'll see we'll just have to see we'll give it a little bit of time so um, one other thing that I wanted to mention I need to do some I need to do something really quick before I share this um, uh, let's see hold on it hold on guys I got to look at something real quick hmm. Yeah, I should have looked that up. Oh, look at all those raffles. You guys are doing good with the... with enter You guys, so you guys know how this works, but unfortunately, my system is not doing anything in, on, on the back-end side of things. So I don't know if... Um, I don't know. I'm going to refresh the page again, see if anything changes. Doesn't seem to be. But it does say the entry is open. So maybe I set something up wrong. I mean, it's very possible that I just didn't set this up correctly. Let's hold on. Uh, can I change settings? Yeah, I, I really need to. I need to learn how the loyalty system works because I don't think. Oh, wait, giveaway settings. Raffle. it's still not showing any tickets guys coming in on my side i apologize <laughs> lots of wrong entries <laughs> yeah make sure that it's exclamation no space exclamation raffle then space one i think is how it works raffle space one <laughs> Quinn. well all right so i'm going to close it out again guys i don't think it worked though so we're going to close it I'm going to go back at least it, at least so so I was trying to do testing while it was in like like on private streams earlier and like nothing was working so at least it's see at least the little Streamlabs guy is, is talking in the chat that 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 gives me hope I could sing us a song ah oh, no that's a Carl Jacobson thing I can't sing what I can do is uh, I was going to give you some information but I cannot find can't find an email that I needed to give you information about it. Ah, I think I did find it. Yes, okay. I have some information for you guys. So I don't think that the thing worked. Let me let me go back into the, the, the bot. Thing. What time is it? Okay, good. Um, I don't think I can pick it. I'm going to hit, I'm going to click pick. Yeah, there's no entries to pick from. It didn't work again, guys. So, okay, so here's the deal. What I'm going to do is figure out how the loyalty system is supposed to be set up. Uh, and, and like I said, the way it works is it's like you guys get points for like how long you, you are watching streams and stuff like that. But the thing is, I got to go in there and like set it up, I think. Um, and I also might not have had the, the settings correct now with the giveaway. Um, I know I'm, it's very confusing and complex, but once I figure out how to set the thing up, I think it's going to work really fabulous. And I'm excited because first off, like I said, we have the, that box, the big box of blanks from the 50,000 subscriber video. 
it's a big box, guys. Um, let me let me get my other little camera in here. I didn't. I need to reset up my my overhead cam again. Zoom out. Let's go wide as can. Sweet. Yeah, I definitely like this camera position a lot better. Um, so here we go. Look at all these blanks, guys. We got a big ones, and we got some smaller ones, bottle stoppers, and tons of pen blanks. All right, so all of these are going to go to one lucky winner. We just need to figure out the the cloud bot system. <laughs> so that will be the first giveaway. And once we get this thing nailed down, uh, we will do that giveaway. Um, probably, ho hopefully next week, maybe we can do that if I can get the thing working right. Um, but going forward with the, the giveaway system, I think it's going to be kind of cool because I can just randomly just do a giveaway. Um, I, I've, that's one of the things that I wanted to do is try to have, you know, try to do a, a couple different things with the stream. And I know that there's tons of these um, things that you can do with like integrations into your stream. Um, and I used to use some of them back in the day, but when I switched to YouTube, there really wasn't much support um, immediately when I switched over. And so I just kind of never you know really looked into it and so now i was you know doing a couple different things with the stream i was actually looking into using streamlabs obs software to see if that worked better um, but i found all these you know giveaways and different things that i that we can maybe use so this year hopefully we'll be doing some fun stuff i think another thing that we can do um, with the loyalty points there actually is a lot of things you can use those for like i, I guess and i don't know how these things work exactly but I guess you guys can do like little games and stuff if you have loyalty points. It kind of gets a little complicated. That's why I was like, eh, if I can just do giveaways. But if I have to set up the loyalty system, we may as well try and have as much fun as we can if there's other features that we can play around with. Um, but I think that there's also like polls. Let's see if we can do a poll. I'm gonna, <laughs> I set up a, a test poll. Let's, let's start this poll. Let's see what happens if this works. So hold on, wait for the thing. It's a silly poll, but um, I was, there it is. A poll has opened. So um, I can also poll you guys, ask you guys like the whole, you know, everybody that wants to, to do it, um, like random little polls and things. So like I'm hoping that we can have a little bit more fun on the live streams this year doing different stuff. It should be kind of cool. So if you guys want to try it, um, all of these commands, most of the commands are going to be now, <laughs> Woody's wood shop is <laughs> like, yeah, get out of here. You're an idiot. Uh, nice. Uh, JG, yeah, I, I already did the, the pot leveling thing. So uh, when this, you can actually rewind any time. We're just kind of messing around like right now. Uh, I'm trying to do some testing and different stuff. Um, Someone do now. People have been doing now. That's uh, fun. Okay, so you guys, you guys are doing awesome. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys' help with this stuff. So I'm going to close the poll right now. And now what? Does it say anything? It doesn't seem to be working. I'm not getting any data. Hmm. Not even that worked. Really? I am really disappointed right now. Hmm. Very disappointing, guys. So obviously, I am going to have to figure out how what what's going on here with the, <laughs> the setup of this stuff. Why do they make it so hard? This should be something that is just like integrated into YouTube as far as I'm concerned, this kind of stuff. Because there's a lot of different little things that you can do with these. Man. Hmm. Yeah, it's not showing any, any information, guys. I can actually show you the... Uh, see, where's that? Oh, that didn't work. Window capture. See, it shows zero and zero right there. Zero and zero. 
Zero votes. All right. So I'm going to cancel that, I guess. I don't know what else. I don't know what else. There's nothing else I can do here. Hmm. It's like it's still going, though. Uh, this is this is disappointing. All right, so I'm just going to cancel it. Yes. Yep, that didn't work. All right. Reca <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to do a recount. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, I need to do some homework and, and learn how all this stuff is, is working. But like I said, the nice thing is at least the Streamlabs bot is, is interacting with the chat. It's just not keeping any of the data for some reason. I don't know why. So I'll have to kind of look into that, figure out there must be some sort of a connection issue, obviously, because I don't think you need loyalty points to do polls. Um, but anyway, uh, so one other thing that I wanted to mention, guys, or show you, um, I got I got some cool stuff coming coming up soon. So Jen Early with Stormwind Creations sent me some really cool stuff. Uh, she sent this a little while ago now. Um, they're little baby dragon dragons, little baby dragon things which are super cool for like dragon egg blanks, right? So we're going to be casting one of these guys. I made a, I, I did a die, uh, die stabilize this piece of buckeye burl. Let me get on camera here. And so we're going to, we're going to do a, a casting with a little baby dragon for a dragon egg blank. I'm not sure which guy I want to go with. Um, but she, she makes these things and I, I don't know if they're like resin cast. I don't exactly know how she makes them, but you can get them in all kinds of different colors. And this one's got some color shift powder going on. Um, these ones are really cool looking. I just had her, she's like, what colors do you want? And I'm like, man, I don't know. I can't possibly pick these. So pretty cool looking though. What do you think of that? So we're going to cast that on the next, um, not, not this Friday, because this Friday is going to be the, um, it's the Patreon first Friday second Friday, <laughs> but the first Friday was on the actual New Year's Day, so we, we pushed that back to this Friday. Um, so probably next week we'll cast this stuff, uh, the baby dragon eggs, and so hopefully I'll do a good job. These things are so cool, um, but you can, uh, let's see, how do you get a hold of her? I think you can get these things at Turner's Warehouse, actually, but oh, it doesn't I don't know if she has like a website or an Etsy. Let me let me search something really quick. I should have looked this up. I'm Googling. Ah, oh, I think so. so. Yeah. Stormwinds HQ. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a link. This is where you can get these things. So again, Jen Early sent these in. So a big, big thank you to Jen. And uh, it, she sent these a little while ago. I just it was one of those things that I, I wanted to I wanted to get a nice, cool looking burl piece, uh, like ready for it. And I was also waiting for her to send them because in my head, you know, I could have maybe thought about the sizing of these things, but I really would rather just wait to get one and make sure that it fit kind of thing. Um, and she makes different sizes. I think these might be the biggest size. Um, so anyway, yeah, dragon egg lamp, that'd be pretty cool. Silly question, but what was, what was, why was I in the, I'm not sure what you're asking about the giveaway. Oh, yeah, I was on the loyalty tab. Um, I, that's what I was showing. Well, I was on the poll tab. <laughs> it was the for polls, and it just it didn't have any information. Um, but, yeah, the giveaway tab didn't have anything. Uh, I think I know what you're saying, but it didn't. Um, there's, there's no information on the giveaway one either. There's no information anywhere, basically. Like, even on the loyalty tab, there's no points. No users in the list. So, like, basically nothing's working on the, in the cloud bot, which I don't know exactly why that is. So I'll have to figure that out. Hopefully I can get that figured out by next uh, Friday. Again, not the 8th, um, but the whatever the next one is. So, anyway, yeah, the, I kind of like both of them. The, the black one, the dark one is a little bit kind of harder to see, but, yeah, I'll probably, probably go with the light one. You're right. It kind of does pop out a little bit more. 
but it should be pretty cool. I got some ideas on, on things um, for like tips for this thing. Like I'm already kind of coming up with things that I want to do that I think are going to be good tips for doing something like this. Um, and like I said, hopefully I can, I can get it to work right, <laughs> you know. So anyway, I have to watch a YouTube on a YouTube giveaway. Exactly, Jim. I, I will be watching Streamlabs you know, like loyalty. I actually, there's already a couple channels that I've been looking at, but I was really, originally I was really hoping to not have to set up this whole loyalty points system and all that. Cause it's just kind of crazy, but anyway. All right. So I think that's about it guys. Like I said, this was just kind of a hodgepodge live stream, but I know that it's been a while and I I've been doing different stuff in the shop. Um, that's why I haven't really been posting anything on uh on like even on instagram and facebook i've been trying to get this stuff resettled so that i'm ready to go and i can you know do do casting with no problems uh the other thing that i did was i and you might have seen the post on instagram um i've been i have this little office room where i've been doing like the the podcast recording with casey uh i'm in my thing he's in in california but it basically i was sitting i had a laptop on the corner of a metal filing cabinet surrounded by a bunch of junk and i was just like i gotta make like an actual desk so now i have like one of the boom arm things for my microphone so it's actually gonna like probably sound better and, and do that stuff so i've just been doing little uh minor things around the shop you know i like doing that at the beginning of the year just kind of you know <sighs> Over the course of the year, there's little things like the pressure pots were really annoying me by the end of the year. I did not like those ones um, being up on the desk in front of me. Um, so I wanted to change that, that the, the, the recording studio was horrible. Uh, so little things like that. And then coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing like a big planning kind of retreat type thing. I was gonna be doing that actually. The plan was to do that between Christmas and New Year's in addition to some of these shop upgrades. And what happened was my dad separated, you know, he popped his shoulder out and like I had to take care of my parents that week. So it, it's pushed everything back and things are, have gotten, gotten kind of crazy around here. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, hopefully we'll do, you know, a couple little minor upgrades and changes and, and fun stuff for next year. Uh, but I'll have to kind of sit down and, and figure out what all, what all I wanna do and how I want ne this year to go. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Uh, I see, let's see. Yeah, see if you can figure out the, the anything <laughs> with, with the Streamlab stuff. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just not, not working for me. A lot of times it takes tweaking with things or, you know, like there's some setting that I forgot to turn on that's, that makes everything work. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I'm sure I can, I'm sure I can figure it out now that I know the, the biggest question, the, the big thing with, with what I learned today is that the cloud bot is actually connected into my chat. Um, so that is good news. Um, I, I think it's just a, a little bit of a setting um, issue, I think, that I got going on. Uh, but we'll get these giveaways going and, and have a little bit of fun. We'll set up a loyalty system and we can play little games and do all kinds of whatever <laughs> once we get everything set up. It should be pretty fun. Uh, so I think that's about it. I don't think there's any other like announcements or anything like that. Um, just a heads up, guys. I, I have a feeling that the, the day usually... So let me stop. Last year, I was doing streams on Wednesdays and Fridays a lot. Um, and then it kind of like... The, the resin casting day was Friday and then I would maybe turn stuff on Wednesday. Looking forward to this year, I already know that I need to kind of step back a little bit with some of the obligations that I have. There's just, I have family obligations that are coming up that I know that I'm gonna need time for. Um, so I'm gonna probably just be doing a, one stream a week. And I think I might be changing that to Wednesdays. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled um, for you know, notifications on YouTube and you know, Instagram and Facebook. I haven't decided yet. I need to kind of sit down and look at my entire schedule for the week and kind of plan this stuff. But I think it might be switching to Wednesday is, is the stream day. So just to let you know, it's most likely going to be either Wednesday or Friday. But I just want to let you guys know about that in advance so you're, you don't miss one thinking it's going to be on Friday and I might have switched to Wednesdays. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to get going. So again, thank you for joining the fun. I, I am looking forward to 2021. It's going to be a good year, I think. Um, I know that... We're still kind of stuck with some of the, the things lingering from last year, but I think that everybody's kind of, I don't know, hopefully we all have a little bit of a refreshed sense of hope 
and uh, and and fun for for 2021. I think it should be pretty cool. So I know I have already without even planning. I already have lots of fun stuff planned for this year uh, that we'll be doing on the stream and as well as videos and all that kind of stuff. So it should be pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Uh, for the patrons, uh, this Friday, the 8th at 3 p.m., we're going to be doing uh, the, the coffee grounds casting, <clears throat> excuse me, casting with the, with the, uh, the paper shreds. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with that for the demo. And don't forget to bring your questions for, you know, whatever it may be, resin casting or whatever. Uh, but I will see all the patrons on Friday. It'll be pretty fun. First, first Friday of 2021. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will see you all on the next stream. And I hope you have a great night.